this product review, we're going to look at a Giza timer. Putting a timer on a Giza has proven to be extremely effective to reduce electricity costs on a Giza every month. However, the correct timer needs to be used versus a generic timer. In this video, I'm going to show you what that timer is and why it's important to use the correct timer on a Giza. What is a Giza timer? A Giza timer is an electronic device that limits the flow of electricity to the Giza. By limiting the flow of electricity, your client will save electricity. A quality Giza timer can save clients up to 40% of the consumption of electricity on a Giza. A quality Giza timer will allow clients to have full control over the Giza. Now the timer that we found to be the most effective is called the GizaWise TSE controller. So let me show you the benefits on why this timer is so effective. This product is specifically made for Gizas. The timer can handle elements up to 20 amps. That's a 4,800 watt element. This is where generic timers would normally fail because the relay inside the timer cannot handle the amount of amps that's being generated by the Giza element. Set the Giza timer to switch on and off up to four times a day. This is again where generic timers would often fail because it only has the ability to switch the Giza on and off once a day. This timer can switch the Giza on and off four times a day. The Giza temperature can be accurately regulated. This is where the GizaWise timer stands apart from other timers. It is vital to be able to regulate the temperature on a Giza, as bacterial growth inside of the Giza will only die at certain temperatures. Now the bacteria that I'm talking about is called Legionella. Legionella is a bacteria that could cause severe pneumonia and other lung disorders. The University of Stellenbosch has done research on Legionella and a quote from them is Our research highlights the connection between when and for how long a Giza is switched on and the increase in Legionella in water Gizas. But what the research has found is that if a Giza's temperature is 60 degrees Celsius for a half an hour, it kills the bacteria Legionella. Now there's two reasons why the Giza temperature must reach 60 degrees Celsius at least once a day. First, to kill the bacteria growing in the Giza. And secondly, it's actually law. The SANS regulation states that a Giza's temperature has to reach 60 degrees Celsius every day. Now with a Giza-wise timer, that setting can be conveniently and accurately done. Now to follow up on that benefit, the next benefit is that the water temperature can be viewed at a glance. Now there may be a scenario where your client needs hot water outside of the time when the geyser was supposed to be switched on. How would they know if they've got hot water or not? What they would normally do is put their hand under the water and pray that hot water comes out. They are wasting money. All the money that they've saved from electricity, they're throwing down the drain. With the Giza Wise Timer, that wastage is eliminated as they can see clearly what the temperature of the water is. The timer can be overridden with the push of a single button. Now, although there are several components that make up the Giza Wise TSE controller, it's all under one product code. So let's see what's inside the box. The components in a TSE controller is one display and connection cable, one control box, one thermostat probe and cable, and one instruction manual. Now the GizaWise controller is very easy to install and comes with a clear instruction manual. But let me walk you through the steps of how to install this controller. The first step of installing a GizaWise timer is to first 
switch off the electrical circuit from the DU board as well as the isolator at the geyser. Once you've switched off, please use a multimeter and test if there's still power running through to the geyser element. The next step is to remove the covers from the geyser, disconnect the existing thermostat and remove it. Next step, insert and connect the GeyserWise thermostat probe. The next step is to follow the instructions in the booklet and connect the control box. So let me show you how to mount and connect the control box. First, you're going to remove the screw. As you can see, I've already removed the screw. Next, you're gonna unhook the lid of the control box. Remove the lid. And now you can mount the control box with these two little brackets. You'll also see that it's got glands inside for the cables. Now on the cover, it's got a clear wiring diagram. Now from the isolator, you're gonna connect your live wire on L1 and the neutral wire on N1 and the ground, which is marked GRN. Now the wire coming from the thermostat will then be connected to L2 and N2. Once all your connections are tight, you simply close the lid. Now you'll notice the lid has got little brackets. Now the little brackets are there to simply hook the lid in and click it closed. And don't forget to put the screw back. Please be careful that you don't pinch the two little cables on the side of the control box. The next step is to connect the thermostat reference cable and the display reference cable to the control box. Now you'll notice the display comes with a grey cable with a rectangular fitting. And that plugs into the rectangular female fitting on the control box. It cannot plug into the other female fitting. So they've kind of made it idiot proof that you can't mix up the two connections. The same applies to the thermostat communication probe. It also has a unique connection that only plugs into one cable fitting. Once everything is connected, make sure all your wires are neat and then you simply switch on. The next step is to mount the display wherever it's convenient and do the initial programming. Now that the timer is installed, let's recap on the benefits that your clients could enjoy. Now your client has a product that's specifically made for geezers. The timer can handle elements up to 20 amps, which is a 4,800 watt element. No more timers blowing because it can't handle the size of the element. You can set the geezer to switch on and off up to four times a day. The geezer temperature can be accurately regulated this benefit is again to kill the bacteria and to comply with SANS regulations. Water temperature can be viewed at a glance. No more praying for hot water to come out of the tap. The timer can be overridden with the push of a single button. This override function is far more convenient on this timer than on generic timers. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and more importantly, that you've learned something. If you did, please give me the thumbs up below. If you want to be notified of any future videos, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you for watching.